Hello and welcome to the Aaron 1250 installation and setup video. We will be discussing the installation, accessory attachment, and operation of the Aaron 1250. What you'll find when you open the box is an accessory kit. Next you'll find your Aaron 1250 package and protective foam. As you open your accessory kit, verify the following items are present and check each piece for damage. Hospital grade power cord, one sterile disposable pencil, one reusable grounding cord, five sterile disposable split grounding pads, three sterile disposable electrodes, one blade, one needle, and one ball, and a user's guide. Before operating your unit, be sure to read and understand all safety, warnings, and cautions referenced in the user's guide. To attach a power cord, place the unit on a sturdy, flat surface, ensure that the power switch is in an off position, insert the hospital grade power cord into the back of the unit, and the other end into a properly grounded AC outlet. To power on the Aaron 1250, flip the power switch to the on position. It will perform a self-test to verify its operational status. The Aaron 1250 has five operating modes, cut, blend, coagulation, full duration, and bipolar. To select an operating mode, simply press the button indicating the desired mode. To adjust the power, rotate the power control knob to the desired setting. The Aaron 1250 is an isolated unit and all monopolar modes require the use of a grounding pad. Grounding pads are available in a variety of configurations, solid pad only, solid pad with attached disposable cable, split pad only, and split pad with attached disposable cable. Pads without cables are to be used with the reusable grounding cable. The Aaron 1250 is packaged with a reusable grounding cable and five disposable split pads. To install the cable, insert the plug into the receptacle marked return electrode. To attach the pad to the cable, open the locking mechanism, insert the tab into the clip, and close the locking mechanism. You will notice that the return electrode alarm indicator is still illuminated. This is due to Bovee's NEM pad sensing technology. Once the pad is securely attached to the patient, the alarm light will go out and the split pad icon will be lit. The foot control output receptacle accepts the standard Bovee number 12 plug. Some accessories such as foot control pencils, Bugby electrode, snares, and certain arthroscopic and endoscopic instruments may have cables that require the use of an adapter. To use the optional adapter, plug the adapter into the receptacle marked foot control. Then plug the accessory into the hole and tighten the locking screw. Foot control accessories can only be activated via the optional foot switch. To attach the foot switch, plug the connector into the back of the unit. The same foot control is used to activate the monopolar and bipolar modes. To toggle between monopolar and bipolar foot control modes, use the foot control selector switch. Only the mode that is selected will be available for activation. To attach a monopolar pencil, insert the plug into the receptacle marked monopolar. To use optional bipolar forceps, select the bipolar mode. You will notice the foot control indicator switches to bipolar. This indicator must be switched back to monopolar in order to activate the monopolar foot control accessory. To attach the optional bipolar cable, insert connectors into the receptacle marked bipolar. To connect the optional bipolar forcep, insert the prongs into the plug. The Aaron 1250 activation tone volume is adjustable. To adjust the volume of the activation tone, rotate the volume control knob on the back of the unit clockwise to increase, counterclockwise to decrease the volume. The alarm tone volume is not adjustable. The Aaron 1250 is now ready for use.